series of proprietary Unix operating systems developed and sold by IBM for several of its computer platforms. Originally released for the IBM RT PC RISC workstation, X now supports or has supported a wide variety of hardware platforms, including the IBM RS-6000 series and later power and power PC-based systems. IBM System I, System-370 mainframes, PS-2 personal computers, and the Apple Network Server. X is based on Unix System V with four BSD-3 compatible extensions. It is one of four commercial operating systems that have versions certified to the Open Group's Unix 03 standard, and one of 12 certified to the Unix 95 standard. The X family of operating systems debuted in 1986, became the standard operating system for the RS-6000 series on its launch in 1990, and is still actively developed by IBM. It is currently supported on IBM Power Systems alongside IBM Ion Linux. X was the first operating system to have a journaling file system, and IBM has continuously enhanced the software with features such as processor, disk and network virtualization. Dynamic hardware resource allocation, and reliability engineering ported from its mainframe designs. IBM RS-6000 X file servers used for IBM. Com in the 1990s X version 4 console login prompt Unix started life at AT&T's Bell Labs Research Center in the early 1970s, running on DEC mini computers. By 1976, the operating system was in use at various academic institutions, including Princeton, where Tom Lyon and others ported it to the S-370, to run as a guest OS under VM-370. This port would later grow out to become UTS, a mainframe Unix offering by IBM's competitor Ambell Corporation. IBM's own involvement in Unix can be dated to 1979, when it assisted Bell Labs in doing its own Unix port to the 370. In the process, IBM made modifications to the TSS-370 hypervisor to better support Unix. It took until 1985 for IBM to offer its own Unix on the S-370 platform, 9-370, which was developed by Interactive Systems Corporation. And intended by IBM to compete with Ambell UTS. The operating system offered special facilities for interoperating with PC-9. Interactive slash IBM's version of Unix for IBM PC-compatible hardware, and was licensed at $10,000 per 16 concurrent users. X version 1, introduced in 1986 for the IBM RT PC workstation, was based on Unix System V releases 1 and 2. In developing X, IBM and Interactive Systems Corporation also incorporated source code from 4. 2 and 4. 3 Bahamian Dollars Unix. Among other variants, IBM later produced X version 3, based on System V release 3, for their power-based RS-6000 platform. Since 1990, X has served as the primary operating system for the RS-6000 series. X version 4, introduced in 1994, added symmetric multiprocessing with the introduction of the first RS-6000 SMP servers and continued to evolve through the 1990s, culminating with X4. 3. 3 in 1999. Version 4. 1, in a slightly modified form, was also the standard operating system for the Apple Network Server System sold by Apple Computer to complement the Macintosh line. In the late 1990s, under Project Monterey, IBM and the Santa Cruz operation planned to integrate X and Unixware into a single 32-bit slash 64-bit multi-platform Unix with particular emphasis on running on Intel IA64 architecture CPUs. A beta test version of X5 liters for IA64 systems was released, but according to documents released in the SCOV. IBM lawsuit, less than 40 licenses for the finished Monterey Unix were ever sold before the project was terminated in 2002. In 2003, the SCO group alleged that IBM had misappropriated licensed source code from Unix System V Release 4 for incorporation. Into X, SCO subsequently withdrew IBM's license to develop and distribute X. IBM maintains that their license was irrevocable and continued to sell and support the product until the litigation was adjudicated. X was a component of the 2003 SCOV. IBM lawsuit, in which the SCO group filed a lawsuit against IBM, alleging IBM contributed SCO's intellectual property to the Linux codebase. The SCO group, who argued they were the rightful owners of the copyrights covering the Unix operating system, attempted to revoke IBM's license to sell or distribute the X operating system. In March 2010, a jury returned a verdict finding that Novell, not the SCO group, owns the rights to Unix. 
Old Logo X6 was announced in May 2007, and it ran as an open beta from June 2007 until the general availability of X6. One on November 9, 2007. Major new features in X6. One included full role-based access control, workload partitions, enhanced security, and live partition mobility on the Power 6 hardware. X7. One was announced in April 2010, and an open beta ran until general availability of X7. One in September 2010. Several new features, including better scalability, enhanced clustering and management capabilities were added. X7. One includes a new built-in clustering capability called Cluster Aware X. X is able to organize multiple PERS through the multipath communications channel to neighboring CPUs, enabling very high-speed communication between processors. This enables multi-terabyte memory address range and page table access to support global petabyte shared memory space for X Power 7 cluster so that software developers can program a cluster as if it were a single system. Without using message passing. X administrators can use this new capability to cluster a pool of X nodes. By default, XV7. One pins kernel memory and includes support to allow applications to pin their kernel stack. Pinning kernel memory and the kernel stack for applications with real-time requirements can provide performance improvements by ensuring that the kernel memory and kernel stack for an application is not paged out. X7. 2 was announced in October 2015, and released in December 2015. The principal feature of X7. 2 is the live kernel update capability, which allows OS fixes to replace the entire X kernel with no impact to applications, by live migrating workloads to a temporary surrogate XOS partition while the original OS partition is patched. X7. 2 was also restructured to remove obsolete components. The networking component, BOSS. Net. TCP. Client was repackaged to allow additional installation flexibility. Unlike X7. 1. X7. 2 is only supported on systems based on Power 7 or later processors. The original X was developed for the IBM RT PC workstation by IBM in conjunction with Interactive Systems Corporation, who had previously ported Unix System 3 to the IBM PC for IBM as PC-9. According to its developers, the X source consisted of 1 million lines of code. Installation media consisted of 8-1-2M floppy disks. The RT was based on the IBM ROMP microprocessor, the first commercial RISC chip. This was based on a design pioneered at IBM Research. One of the novel aspects of the RT design was the use of a microkernel, called Virtual Resource Manager. The keyboard, mouse, display, disk drives and network were all controlled by a microkernel. One could hotkey from one operating system to the next using the Alt-Tab key combination. Each OS in turn would get possession of the keyboard, mouse, and display. Besides XV2, the PIC OS also included this microkernel. Much of the XV2 kernel was written in the PL-8 programming language, which proved troublesome during the migration to XV3. XV2 included full TCP IP networking, as well as SNA and two networking file systems, NFS, licensed from Sun Microsystems, and distributed services. DS had the distinction of being built on top of SNA and thereby being fully compatible with DS on IBM mainframe systems and on mid-range systems running OS-400 through IBM I. For the graphical user interfaces, XV2 came with the X10 R3 and later the X10 R4 and X11 versions of the X window system from MIT, together with the Athena widget set. Compilers for Fortran and C were available. XPS-21 3 console login XPS-2 was developed by Locus Computing Corporation under contract to IBM. XPS-2, first released in October 1988, ran on IBM PS-2 personal computers with Intel 386 and compatible processors. XPS-21 3 AI's Windows desktop The product was announced in September 1988 with a baseline tag price of $595, although some utilities like USCP were included in a separate extension package priced at $250. NROF and TROF for X were also sold separately in a text formatting system package priced at $200. The TCP IP stack for XPS-2 retailed for another $300. The X window package was priced at $195, and featured a graphical environment called the AI's Windows Desktop, based on Ixy's X.Desktop. The C and Fortran compilers each had a price tag of $275. 
Locus also made available their DOS Merge Virtual Machine Environment for X, which could run MS-DOS 3. Three applications inside X, DOS Merge was sold separately for another $250. IBM also offered a $150 XPS-2 DOS server program, which provided file server and print server services for client computers running PC-DOS 3. 3. The last version of PS-2X is 1. 3. It was released in 1992 and announced to add support for non-IBM computers as well. Support for PS-2X ended in March 1995. In 1988, IBM announced X-370, also developed by Locus Computing. X-370 was IBM's fourth attempt to offer Unix-like functionality for their mainframe line, specifically the System-370, the prior versions were a TSS-370-based Unix system developed jointly with AT&T circa 1980. A VM-370-based system named VM-9 developed jointly with Interactive Systems Corporation circa 1984, and a VM-370-based version of TSS-370 named 9-370 which was upgraded to be compatible with Unix system B. X-370 was released in 1990 with functional equivalents to system V release 2 and 4. 3 Bahamian dollars as well as IBM enhancements. With the introduction of the ESA-390 architecture, X-370 was replaced by X-ESA in 1991, which was based on OSF-1, and also ran on the System-390 platform. This development effort was made partly to allow IBM to compete with Amdahl UTS. Unlike X-370, X-ESA ran both natively as the host operating system, and as a guest under VM. X ESA, while technically advanced, had little commercial success, partially because Unix functionality was added as an option to the existing mainframe operating system. MVS, as MVS ESA SP version 4 released 3 Open Edition in 1994, and continued as an integral part of MVS ESA SP version 5, OS 390 and Z OS, with the name eventually changing from Open Edition to Unix System Services. IBM also provided open edition in VM slash ESA version 2 through Z slash VM. As part of Project Monterey, IBM released a beta test version of X5 liters for the IA64 architecture in 2001, but this never became an official product due to lack of interest. The Apple network server systems were power PC based systems designed by Apple Computer to have numerous high end features that standard Apple hardware did not have including swappable hard drives, redundant power supplies, and external monitoring capability. These systems were more or less based on the Power Macintosh hardware available at the time but were designed to use X versions 4.1.4 or 4.1.5 as their native operating system in a specialized version specific to the ANS called X for Apple network servers. X was only compatible with the network servers and was not ported to standard Power Macintosh hardware. It should not be confused with A-UX, Apple's earlier version of Unix for 68K-based Macintoshes. XRS-6000 servers running IBM. Common in early 1998 XRS-6000 servers running IBM. Common in early 1998 the release of X version 3 coincided with the announcement of the first Power 1-based IBM RS-6000 models in 1990. XV3 innovated in several ways on the software side. It was the first operating system to introduce the idea of a journaling file system, JFS, which allowed for fast boot times by avoiding the need to ensure the consistency of the file systems on disks on every reboot. Another innovation was shared libraries which avoid the need for static linking from an application to the libraries it used. The resulting smaller binaries used less of the hardware RAM to run, and used less disk space to install. Besides improving performance, it was a boon to developers, executable binaries could be in the tens of kilobytes instead of a megabyte for an executable statically linked to the C library. XV3 also scrapped the microkernel of XV2, a contentious move that resulted in V3 containing no PL-I code and being somewhat more pure than V2. Other notable subsystems included, as of 2015, X runs on IBM Power, System P, System I, System P5, System I5, eServer P5, eServer P series and eServer i5 server product lines, as well as IBM Blade Center Blades and IBM Pure Flex Compute nodes. In addition, X applications can run in the Pays subsystem under IBM i. Power 7 X features X7. 
One fully exploit systems based on Power 7 processors include the Active Memory Expansion feature, which increases system flexibility where system administrators can configure logical partitions to use less physical memory. For example, Unlure Running X appears to the OS applications to be configured with 80 GB of physical memory but the hardware actually only consumes 60 GB of physical memory. Active Memory Expansion is a virtual memory compression system which employs memory compression technology to transparently compress in memory data, allowing more data to be placed into memory and thus expanding the memory capacity of Power 7 systems. Using Active Memory Expansion can improve system use and increase a system's throughput. X7 automatically manages the size of memory pages used to automatically use 4 kilobytes, 64 kilobytes or a combination of those page sizes. This self-tuning feature results in optimized performance without administrative effort. Power 8X features X7. Two exploits Power 8 hardware features including accelerators and 8-way hardware multithreading. Power 9X features X7. Two exploits Power 9 secure boot technology. The default login banner for X5. 3 on Power PC XPS slash 2 795 dollars. XPS slash 2 595. XPS slash 2 extensions 275. XPS slash 2 DOS merge 275. XPS slash 2 usability services 275. XPS slash 2 text formatting system 220. XPS slash 2 X Windows 214. XPS slash 2 versus Fortran 302. XPS slash 2 versus Pascal 302. XPS slash 2 C language 302. XPS slash 2 application. Development toolkit 192. XPS slash 2 workstation. Host interface program 441. XPS slash 2 transmission control. Protocol slash internet protocol 330. XPS slash 2 inmail slash and slash in it slash FTP 275. X Access for DOS users 164. X Windows for IBM DOS 214. The common desktop environment, X's default graphical user interface the default shell was born shell up to X version 3, but was changed to corn shell in version 4 for XPG4 and POSIX compliance. The common desktop environment is X's default graphical user interface. As part of Linux Affinity in the free X toolbox for Linux applications, Open source KDE Plasma workspaces and GNOME Desktop are also available. The initial menu, when running in text mode, SMIT is the system management interface tool for X. It allows a user to navigate a menu hierarchy of commands, rather than using the command line. Invocation is typically achieved with the command SMIT. Experienced system administrators make use of the F6 function key, which generates the command line that SMIT will invoke to complete it. SMIT also generates a log of commands that are performed in the SMIT. Script file. The SMIT. Script file automatically records the commands with the command flags and parameters used. The SMIT. Script file can be used as an executable shell script to rerun system configuration tasks. SMIT also creates the SMIT. Log file, which contains additional detailed information that can be used by programmers in extending the SMIT system. SMIT and SMITI refer to the same program, though SMITI invokes the text-based version while SMIT will invoke an X-Window system-based interface if possible. However, if SMIT determines that X-Window system capabilities are not present, it will present the text-based version instead of failing. Determination of X-Window system capabilities is typically performed by checking for the existence of the display variable. Object Data Manager is a database of system information integrated into X, analogous to the registry in Microsoft Windows. A good understanding of the ODM is essential for managing X systems. Data managed in ODM is stored and maintained as objects with associated attributes. Interaction with ODM is possible via application programming interface library for programs, and command line utilities such as Odnshow, Odnj, Odmad, Odchange and Odndelete for shell scripts and users. SMIT and its associated X commands can also be used to query and modify information in the ODM. Example of information stored in the ODM database are. Thanks for watching.